Hi everyone, it's Raf from Advanced Performance Solutions. In today's video we will look into French contrast training, and discuss its application and effectiveness in football. So, let's just start by understanding what is French contrast training. This training method was initially introduced by an athletics coach Giles Cometti, in track and field. It consists of a series of four exercises performed with minimal rest in between, with the goal to induce potentiation effects and subsequently enhance strength and or power related performance. Although French contrast training has not been researched extensively, anecdotal reports from practitioners also confirm its effectiveness on enhancing force and power production. In fact the rationale behind the application of French contrast is derived from the concept of post-activation potentiation, which states that an increase in power production of a muscular contraction is observed when prior to that contraction a high-force muscular contraction is performed. Hence, the exercises used in French contrast training arise from the combination of complex and contrast methods. So now that we have a clear understanding behind the rationale of French contrast training, let's take a closer look to the exercise's characteristics that will allow us to use this training method efficiently. As with any training related to athletic development, the exercises used should be biomechanically specific to the performance movement that we aim to improve. In addition, the exercises should allow the athlete to train along the force velocity curve. In addition to the exercise's characteristics, exercise sequence is equally important. Therefore, let's check out a typical workout structure of the French contrast method. The first pair of exercise always begins with a high load exercise followed by an exercise moderate in force and velocity which typically involves a reactive plyometric. The second pair of exercises start with another plyometric, but this time there is additional resistance making the exercise more force dominant. This exercise aims to set the athlete in a potentiated state for the fourth and last exercise which is an accelerated plyometric characterized by very high velocity. Based on the athlete's characteristics, 3 to 5 sets can be performed with minimal rest between exercise and 3 to 5 minutes rest between sets. Okay, let's now move on into more applied scenarios with the use of French contrast training. One of the most important things to consider when designing a workout using this method is the direction of force application of the performance movement that we aim to improve. For example, if I want to improve linear acceleration or speed I need to incorporate movements with a horizontal force application. However, if I want to improve my jumping ability, then the exercises need to be characterized by vertical force application. And if I want to improve things like lateral shuffle then I need to use exercises with lateral force application. So now, let's move on to an applied example with focus on the speed scenario which is one of the most common performance parameters we try to improve in football. For the first pair of exercise you can start with a heavy sled push or sled drug as the high load exercise and then for the reactive plyometric exercise you can use some continuous broad jumps. Then for the resisted plyometric exercise, a band-resisted sprint can be utilized or a medicine ball broad toss. And finally for the last exercise that needs to be characterized by high velocity you can perform some bungee-assisted alternate bounds or to keep it simple you can just use a 15 to 20 meter sprint. So, even just by looking at the exercise icons, you can see that all exercises are characterized by horizontal force application and they are biomechanically specific to the movements performed during linear speed which is what we want to improve. Although French contrast training appears to be an effective method in improving power and strength related performance, there are some factors that influence its effectiveness and need to be taken into consideration when applying this training method. As with the application of post-activation potentiation, stronger and more powerful athletes tend to experience greater potentiation effects. In addition, since this method is characterized by relatively high workload and is related with increased fatigue effects, caution must be taken when using this protocol during a training week, especially with less trained athletes. For more information on French contrast training, check out these articles. Thank you for watching, if you like our content subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram.